Welcome to the second episode about traveling in time. Today we will talk about black holes as time machines. It is known that gravity in general affects the flow of time. Then different places in the universe measure the time in a different way. Then, taking into account that we are about to colonize Mars and after beyond, it is important to understand how the time flows at different regions of the universe. Hello, Elon. How are you doing, man? A clock located on Mars will run faster than a clock located on Earth. This can be certainly calculated. The differences, although imperceptible, are cumulative and can be perceived easily in the long term. I am traveling in time to the future of Mars. Indeed, Jason. And this effect is not only psychological, it's real, it's physical, it really happens. The time dilation or the distortion of the flow of time due to gravity is a natural consequence of general relativity. Gravity deforms the space-time, and then the larger is the gravitational field coming from the source, the larger is the time dilation effect. Then black holes are authentic time machines. The gravitational field around the even horizon of a black hole is so large that anyone approaching to it will travel to the future of our planet, the Earth. I am traveling to the future of my planet. Then, if Lois wants to travel to the future of our planet, she only has to approach to the even horizon of a black hole without entering inside it, of course. One day in the neighborhood of the black hole, might be equivalent to centuries in our planet. Everything looks so different. Edward, everything looks different because you spend some time around that supermassive black hole. Then even your kids are now older than you. General relativity is a natural consequence of embedding gravity inside the scenario of a special relativity. Oh no, this is not working well. I was on free fall during some period. Einstein's key point was to realize that for free falling objects, gravity is switched off and then special relativity is recovered locally. Then a gravitational field is just equivalent to an accelerated frame at least locally. Einstein then realized that by using the Riemannian geometry, he could model gravity as a deformation of space-time. The Riemannian geometry is locally Euclidean, recovering then special relativity in a free-falling frame of reference. Then, in agreement with general relativity, traveling in time is possible. From this second chapter, we conclude that there are two ways for traveling into the future. The first one is traveling at speeds close to the speed of light, and the second one is approaching to intense gravitational fields. What about traveling to the past? That's an issue that we will discuss in future episodes. Please continue following us. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like and share the link. You can also send us comments to our email address 